trying to find something to follow Hand loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain, and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed, so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I believe in fairy tale Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord Got a tongue like a two-edged sword With a the Bible says he showeth his words to Jacob, meaning this Bible is meant for one set of people. Now you gotta ask yourself, who is Jacob? I'll help you, keep reading. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. That's who Jacob is, man. Jacob is Israel. If you are on this side right here, you come from Jacob. Our forefather is Israel, man. That's who we are, the 12 tribes of Israel. That's not religion, that is biology, man. If you are black, Hispanic, and Native American, we can trace our lineage all the way back to Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. That's who we are, and God is saying that he showeth his judgments and his statutes unto us. You know why? Because if you have kids, you understand. If you have a child, what do you give your child when they live in your house? Rules. If you have children, you give your child that you love rules. When you take your child to the park, you don't give other kids rules, why not? If you want to take your child to the park, you don't give the other kids rules because that's not your child. You don't love them, but you do give your child rules because that's your child and you love them. And this is what we're finding out about the Bible. God gave us rules. God gave blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans laws. America has their laws, it's called the Constitution. I bet you didn't know the Bible is the black and Hispanic Constitution. That's right. right. According to the America's Constitution, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are only three-fifths human. It's not hard to believe, because in America, a white racist police officer can kill our sisters in their sleep and get away with it. It's not hard to believe because in America, they have Hispanic children in cages right now. It's not hard to believe because white men rape and murder Native American women, man. Our lives are the only lives who aren't valued in this place. And there's a reason why. I'll break it down for you. Read it again. He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. The Lord showed us his statutes and judgments. For every rule, there is a punishment if you break that rule. And that's what our lives are in America. That's what our lives are in Jamaica, in Brazil, in Trinidad, in Guatemala, in Mexico. Our lives are suffering because we are paying the consequences of breaking the Lord's rules. The Lord gave us laws because he's our father. He loves us, man. That's why a black and Hispanic man is a homosexual he gets AIDS. And then the white man, he can be gay and have a Fortune 500 company. Right. You know, Elvis Presley was a child molester, man. You don't hear Elvis Presley's name being dragged up. You don't hear cancel Elvis Presley. Right. You do hear cancel R. Kelly. Right. And we should cancel R. Kelly. You know why? Because God told us not to molest children. That's why when we do things, we suffer for the things that we do. For the crimes that we commit for the laws that we break because God loves us. That's right. The Lord punishes those that he loves. It's like a parent. You don't go whoop everybody else's kids when they acting up. They're not your kids. You don't love them. You do whoop your children. I thought I told you to, to wash them dishes, man. I thought I told you to take the trash out. You know what? G give me that Xbox. Give me that Xbox, man. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Give me that Wii. No, no going outside for the Wii. Right. That's what you do to somebody that you love because you give them rules to protect them. That's right. The God of the Bible only loves blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And we should take comfort in knowing that because we get no love in America. Right. 
Nobody loves blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in America, man. When they was gentrifying D.C., they didn't give a damn about blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Black people had to find their way and live other places when we've been in D.C. all our lives, man. D.C. was known as Chocolate City, man. And what happened? Because our lives mean nothing to this place, they are able to move us whenever they get tired of us, man. You know where we were before we came to D.C.? We were down south. Black people migrated to D.C. from down south. You know why we left down south? Because white people were killing us, man. They were pushing us out of our homes down south. And we came to D.C. thinking that we could find refuge here. And guess what we finding out here? Black people are being murdered by the police in D.C. Black people are getting pushed out of their homes in D.C. the same we were down south. You know what we should learn? America hates us. It doesn't matter wherever we go, America hates God's children. Give me Ezekiel 35 and 5. America has shown us 400 years worth of oppression, of hatred, of violence. Ain't it crazy how the white man has murdered and stole our people and oppressed us for 400 years and somehow they're the victim and we're the criminals and thugs? Somehow they're so scared of us when they're the ones who have murdered our people. They're the ones who hung our forefathers from trees, like some mangoes or some apples, man. They're the ones that raped our women and cut the, the babies of our women out of their stomach and fed them to alligators, man. They're the ones that took black men and cut their skin off and cut their rod off and used their skin for wallets and shoes. Black people don't want to hear about what we suffered, man. We don't want to hear about the things we go through, but whenever the white man come over here and talk about the Holocaust or 9-11, then we all want to feel bad for everybody else. Right. How about we feel bad for our own people, man? That's right. Our own people need love. We need some compassion in this place. Nobody gives a damn about us, man. The white man is the devil the Bible speaks of, man. That's right. Read that. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 5. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred. This is talking about the white man in America. The Bible is telling us these people have had a perpetual hatred. What does the word perpetual mean? There's no sweat if you don't know. Perpetual means constant, right. ongoing, non-stop, continuous. The Bible is saying that the so-called white man's hatred for you black man, for you Hispanic man and Native American Indian man has been constant, man. Right. We all had to think all the old white people would die and racism would die out. Well, we've been in America 400 years. How many generations have came and gone? How many opportunities has the white man had to show us they don't hate us? They have 400 years to show us something different. And you know what they chose to do? To be who they are, which is the devil. Because the God of the Bible is saying they have a perpetual hatred for us, man. That's why they convince our black women to go in them abortion clinics and kill their own baby. That's why there's two million black men behind bars. That's why there's Hispanic children in cages. That's why in our neighborhoods, we have no businesses of our own. That's right. That's why we gotta buy our hair products from some Chinese man, and our chicken from some Arab, and our gas from some East Indian, and our oils and bags from some African. That's right. And our food and water from the white man. Because these people all came together under white supremacy to destroy our people because they have a continuous hatred. The Bible says so, man. And this is why Christianity is so destructive because the Christian church teaches us we don't have an enemy. The Christian church teaches us that we can all hold hands and love each other when God is trying to tell us this for a reason. Why do you think the God of the Bible is telling us that we have a people that hate us? If you have a child, why would you tell your child, be, be careful, they hate you? Because you want your child to stay away from them. That's right. You want your child to conduct themselves accordingly so they don't become a victim to these people. Right. Read that again, man. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. Because these devils have had a perpetual hatred for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans and shed the blood of our people, man. Right. We are the children of Israel. That devil hated Breonna Taylor so much that not only did he kill Breonna Taylor in his sleep, he went on and did an interview and justified why he killed Breonna Taylor. This white police officer called Breonna Taylor a criminal. What is criminal about sleeping in your own house? 
What is wrong? What's the crime in being a law-abiding citizen? Do you know Breonna Taylor went to college? She worked for the city. She was an EMT, goddamn. She went to church. She did everything right according to America. And guess what America did to Breonna Taylor? They returned her love with hatred. They returned her service and sacrifice with oppression and murder, man. The same way they've always done. Breonna Taylor loved America, and America showed that she's nothing more than a nigga to them, man. But guess what? The God of the Bible loves Breonna Taylor. The God of the Bible remembers Breonna Taylor. The God of the Bible remembers Trayvon Martin. The God of the Bible remembers Emmett Till and Oscar Abrego. The God of the Bible hears our suffering, man. That's right. He sees what America does to our people, and they are going to have to pay for their crimes. Don't get mad at that. We pay for our crimes, right? right? When black people, when we commit crimes in America, don't we pay? We pay the price. Black people get hooked on drugs, and they call us crackheads and lock us up. When the white man got hooked on opiates, they give them medical treatment. You know what I'm saying? We pay for our crimes. They get away with theirs. Guess what? That's why God is trying to tell us something, man. Thank you, brother. God is trying to tell us that we have an enemy. Our enemies hate us. Right. Our enemies is the so-called white man. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 68, man. If you didn't know, this Bible is teaching blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to love our own people. You understand? This is the problem with black people. We don't understand that you can't serve two masters. We don't have enough love to love each other and then love America. You know what happens? Because we love America, we kill each other. Because we love America, we hate our own brothers and sisters living in the ghettos just like us. But we are all we have, man. I was watching a documentary about an older brother from Berry Farms. But back when Berry Farms was Berry Farms, man. And this brother said how his family moved up there in the 60s and how you could leave your doors unlocked in Berry's Farms, man. That's in the 60s. Now what happened from in Berry Farms from 1960s to 1990, where Barry Farm became known as one of the most notorious hoods in D.C. What happened then, man? Yeah. I'll tell you what happened. Black people joined America and integrated, and we took on the murderous culture of these white people. Barry Farms used to be black people living in peace, man. If you're old enough, you don't know what I'm talking about. Look what it turned into now. Crime riddle. You know why? Because these people have destroyed the Lord's children. You think that Berry Farms and every single ghetto across America is like that for a reason? But by, by chance? That is strategic war against the Lord's people, man. Right. The reason why there's drugs in our communities is because the CIA put the drugs in our communities. Right. The reason why there's so many abortions by black and Hispanic women is because they put the abortion clinics in our neighborhoods. The reason why so many black children are molested is because they put the churches on every corner in the black neighborhoods, That's man. Right. These people have strategically planned to destroy us while we thinking we can love them and hold hands when the Bible says the white man is our enemy. That's right. I'll prove it to you. You'll never hear this in church because your pastor is a lying, greedy bastard, man. He's a pimp and he's whoring you out every time you give your money to that church. Every time you give your love to that pastor, man. Give your love to your people and to God's laws, to God's voice. Don't follow what the pastor says. Follow what God says, and it's right here. God says we have an enemy. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Bible is saying, and the Lord. The God of the Bible shall bring blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans into Egypt again. Now it's saying again because we were in slavery in Egypt under Pharaoh and the Egyptians, man. Everybody want to know how those, those pyramids were built in Egypt. Those pyramids that everybody go to look at still to this day. I'll tell you who built those pyramids, man. You walk around D.C. and look who built D.C. The slaves. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The same people that built D.C. is the same people that made Egypt great, that built them pyramids, that built all of them temples for them Egyptians and Pharaoh, man. 
And that's why the Bible said he will bring us into Egypt again. Because the word Egypt means bondage. The word Egypt, the Greek word for Egypt is Egyptos, which means bondage. That's what Egypt means because the Egyptians had all people in slavery. You ever heard that term? Man, my job was working me like a Hebrew slave. Right. When we're not understanding, that is referring to us. Right. We are the Hebrew slaves. That's right. That's why God is saying he will bring us into Egypt, bondage, slavery again. Keep reading. With six. With what? With six. Can anybody tell me one book on the face of the earth that prophesied black people going into slavery besides the Bible. Name me one book that said we were going to slavery before we actually went to slavery. You can't, you know why? The Quran is not gonna tell you that. The Watchtower is not gonna tell you that. The Constitution of America is not gonna tell you that. Only the Bible prophesied blacks going into slavery. You know why? Because this is our book. This book is talking to us. It has always been talking to us, man. The problem is we thinking it's talking to some white man because we think Christ is a white boy. And we think it's talking to somebody else because our culture and identity has been robbed from us by going into slavery. Well, guess what? We are the children of Israel in this book. That's we right. are the real Jews. Right. The real Jews are black. They were always black. They're still black now and they will always be black, That's man. Right. Right. You understand? And this is who God is talking to. He said he will bring us into Egypt again, into slavery with ships. Where do we get sold to when we are brought into slavery, man? To America. We were taken on ships and brought to the east coast of America and sold to different plantations. And guess what? While we were here in America, we built this empire. We built this place up for the white man. They want to call us lazy. They want to call us shiftless when we are the ones that made America great to begin with. Right. While Donald Trump wants, wants to run on the phrase, make America great again. The only reason why America was ever great is because of the people that you oppress. The only reason why America was great is because of the Hispanics that you want to kick out of the country. The only reason why America was ever, ever great is because of the Native Americans that you kicked off their land right. and still want to take their land, man. Right. America is great because of God's children. And this place is our captivity, the same way Egypt was. If you didn't know, DC, America is Egypt all over again. Right. Just look around, go watch and sightsee. Look around these buildings, look at these ar the architecture, man. These are Egyptian style buildings because America is Egypt. You put out your dollar bill, look on the back of that dollar bill, you're gonna see that pyramid just like Egypt. Because America is Egypt all over again. America is the place where we are the slaves. America is the place where we are turned against each other and destroyed. The Bible prophesied this happening. This book is real. I don't care what anybody says by now, if you didn't understand this Bible was talking to us, you should really look at your pastor and say, you know what, you've lied to me. You have lied to my mother, my grandmother. You have lied to those that came before them. Right. Because you never taught black people their real identity. You never taught that we are the people of this book. This Bible is real, man. Our lives bear witness to it. Read that. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with six. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. The Bible is saying we should not see our homeland again, man. That's how you know those imposters that's in the land of Israel right now are the synagogue of Satan. They want to say Israel is their land. That's why there's war right now between the Palestinians and the so-called Israelis, man. Because none of them own that land. That land doesn't belong to either group of people. Black people, we never known that our land was over there. America is not our homeland. America is the place where our forefathers were brought here in chains and shackles. America is the place where our great-grandmothers nursed white babies while their children starved. America is the place where our fathers, for if, if any black man was a soldier, he was made an example out of. They killed the strong black man to make an example out of him. Does that sound familiar? Right. It happens still to this day. That's right. You wanna know why they always take 
anybody ever notice they take all the biggest NFL players and NBA players and they always make sure they are the softest ones. Right. They make sure they the Uncle Toms. Shaquille O'Neal, how tall Shaquille O'Neal? Was seven two? Seven one? Shaquille O'Neal is a big brother, man, and they made Shaquille O'Neal into an absolute Uncle Tom. That's what they do, man. They take the strongest of us and they make them look weak. They make them weak in America because black people are not allowed to be strong here. Because if we're strong, then nobody will be in slavery. If we are actually stronger in this place, who's gonna be doing all the jobs nobody else wants to do? If black people were strong and say, you know what, enough is enough, the white man ain't taking out his own trash. The white woman ain't gonna make up her own hotel bed and right. clean up all that filth from right. the freakism she had the night before. Right. These people are lazy, man, and they need us to be weak in this place. They need blacks and Hispanics to be against each other so they can continue to destroy our people. That's why we are against our own people. They had a, a protest in D.C. the other day where they went to the construction site in Ward 8 and they kicked out the Hispanic construction workers out of the construction site. And let me tell you how evil that is. Let me tell you how much if you participated in that, you are underneath the brainwashing of white supremacy. The Hispanics is not the reason why we are unemployed. Our Hispanic brothers are not the reason why we live in poverty, man. Why do we always want to look at each other and blame each other instead of being strong and looking at the actual perpetrator? The white man is the reason why we look at our Hispanic brothers like they're taking all our jobs. That's right! You understand? The white man is the reason why we live in poverty. Do you know when we got free, when they emancipated the slaves, they gave the slave masters reparations while they gave the slaves nothing. And then they it passed laws where black people couldn't get housed. I roll with warriors and them garments be looking glorious Feel like 20 sets of fists hitting you but it's four of us They always scream squad but loyalty just mean more to us Let the 40s bust when it's time unleash the hunters I done seen stand up niggas turn into runners Niggas with weak right hooks turn into gunners Soldiers in abundance marching in by the hundreds We don't hold no punches we letting them go in bunches Crawled up out the dungeons and now we do it humongous Waiting on a hater to flex we doing lunges Rappers better give me respect, this be punished Really, I don't worry about credit or where it's due Just know your favorite rapper told it I'm number two Camp full of animals like I'm running the zoo Call me Tyler War or even call me the Jew Shit, you can call me the king, I'm ready to rule Only sharks swim here, rappers get out the pool Only real spitters can wait in this type of water A renaissance coming, we cutting your time shorter You had a good while to get your fares in order